Hello, this is Jesus Manuel Mena Garza. I hope you're having an excellent day. I'm having a good one so far. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Van Lay uh, Beacon 39GBB. There's only two Bs. So again, that's the Van Lay Beacon 39GBB. Don't forget you can pause this video at any time to look at the specs, uh, specific video elements that you say, hey, this is an interesting video element, and I'll check it out further. And in fact, I'll do that nauseum. So this little video I shot at Explore USA RV Supercenter, or as I like to say, RV Supercenter. So uh, they're very nice to me. They say, Jesus Garza, you can check out that video, uh, you know, uh, fifth wheel, and uh, just make sure not to make a mess, because we hate to clean up after people, you know. So I went down there and I went inside. I and I took these videos. I spent about an hour shooting this video inside there because there's a lot of stuff. This is not your 25 foot, uh, you know, little travel trailer. You know, your my typical 20 25 thousand dollar travel trailer. This is a hundred grand plus. This is one sweet unit, and I'm doing this video for a friend of mine on the west coast he said oh, i'm thinking about this product and uh, i said hey i'll make this video for you why not i, I enjoy shooting these videos and the kind flow of folks at uh, explore usa rv super center let me go and uh, shoot it so again you can pause this video at any time and check out the video elements it's quite long i think it's over 20 minutes so again i'm not going to try to talk too much if i can if that's possible <laughs> I'll try to shut up. Uh, yeah, here's the storage area. Quite a bit of storage in this unit. And, uh, you know, each fifth wheel has their benefits. Some have more storage. Some have uh, better water, you know, holding tanks. Some have that style that you like. You're like, that's my style. You know, that's cool. I can f see myself in there. And, you know, it's, everything's different. I sort of like this one. It, it's not uh, too country. One of the big issues I have a lot with fifth wheels, travel trailers, and Class A's is that uh, some of them look super country. I don't know what you're thinking, boys and girls, when you're making these units. I don't want them country. I want them contemporary. Of course, I am not the uh, arbiter of taste in the RV world. If uh, if, if that was the case, you know, there'd be a lot of nice stuff out there. So this unit has a 42,000 BTU furnace. Quite nice. to so keep you nice and warm. In this unit specifically, I think they have two AC units. I don't know if they have a third. From what I've read and heard and done research on, you need a third unit on these big, big, big units. This is a f essentially almost 40 feet long. You need a third AC unit or you'll be going muy caliente. It's too hot. It's too cold. I need, you know, I need that third AC unit. And that's what you should get if you buy this, in my humble opinion, because it's not my money. It's your money. So <laughs> I'm good at spending other people's money, of course. My money, I'm the cheapskate. I'm super cheap. I can't afford this unit. I can't afford this beacon. But my friend on the West Coast said, Jesus, I need a video. Can you shoot this for me? I went to, again, to the kind folks at Explore USA RV Super Center. And they said, Jesus, go for it. Go for it, Garza. So here I am pounding on it. The salesman told me, man, these things are solid on the walls. These walls are super solid. I said, man, yes, they are. They're pretty thick. And those are the tail lights. I thought I'd show those to you. I'm going to pause here and be quiet for a few minutes. I think I drank too much Diet Coke. Hold on. This is a relatively uh, new product for Van Lee out of Mississippi. I think they're out of Mississippi. So when they hauled this to uh, Fort Worth, Texas, it wasn't too long a haul. So again, this is the Van Lee uh, Beacon 39G BB. And uh, I really like it. I can see myself, uh, you know, at the RV park, uh, at the RV resort, uh, having a great time in this. People would love to come and visit because I'd have a lot of beer. I'd have a lot of wine. I'd have a lot of food. And they'd say, uh, can we come again? I say, and i say, no problem, no problem. So plenty of cabinets on the outside and again storage on the outside. You are not lacking 
for cabinets in this Vanley product. No way, Jose. I do love that pattern. Sort of reminds me of some of my shirts back in the 60s. And that's a beautiful little dinette. Here's a close-up of the Hanex solid surface countertops. Uh, this is the tabletop here, and they have countertops also. And they are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, being the artiste that I am, photographer by trade, I really like uh, good aesthetics. I really like uh, aesthetically pleasing things. I do not like uh, stuff that's, you know, like rough sewn, rough uh, hewn, uh, you know, uh, boards that some people like on their interiors of these walls and rough stuff. I like it to look nice, and my wife appreciates it. Say, says Jesus, I appreciate the fact that you have similar tastes to mine. And here I am. Very solid. Yes, there I am, the furry beast that I am. I'm just hanging out again at uh, Explore USA RV Super Center, and uh, I'm enjoying myself. I'm actually enjoying myself a little too much. Uh, I, I wish I had one of these. I wish I had a hundred grand to blow on one of these, but I don't. But you probably do. <laughs> you probably have cash and you're going to, yeah, this is pretty nice. I can afford this. It's just a, you know, one month check. I can buy one of these. And here I am uh, doing a test seating. Yeah, I like this chair. I love this chair. I want to yank it out and take it home with me, but they won't let me. So they have these blinds, roller blinds. One's called solar and one's called the uh, nightshade. So you've got two options. And they're all around. Every window has these. And they're all jealousy style windows. Tinted too. I took that out just to uh, try it out and I put it back in like I'm, so these folks at uh, the RV Supercenter won't get mad at me. It has a light, a massage, and a heat. Would any of you like a nice chair massage? I bet you would. On those cold nights, a little bit of heat isn't too, too bad. I bet you that folds out into a, you know, jackknife sofa, you know, to bed. Uh, I'm not sure. You'd have to call your dealership. I would recommend contacting your dealership to find out what the latest specs on this thing are and actually get uh, some knowledgeable uh, salesperson to give you some info. Hey, maybe give you a good price on one of these. I like the inlay here. This is a nice fabric. Beautifully done. I congratulate the folks at Vanley. Little side areas where you can put your beverage and every plate of food. USB connections, just the other side. It has, uh, you know, 110 outlets. Plenty of them everywhere you go. And look at that storage. Here I am rolling up one of the blinds. And look, I'm going to play with the storage again. I'm going to open these up just to show you because... Uh, this person on the west coast said, Jesus, can you show me one of these? And I said, yeah, I can do that. I can go to the RV dealership and bug them and say, hey, can I go in one of your little units that uh, doesn't have the air conditioning on in the middle in the early summer here and uh, check it out in 100 degree temps? No problem. I'll go inside without AC and do this for you. Yes, it was hot. I wish I had the lights on. I wish I had the AC on, but that was not the case. I only can ask for so much. So it rolls back up so I can get some light in my video. Because I did not have any lights in the interior. Again, these are dual pane tinted windows. And they open jealousy style. I do like jealousy windows, but I prefer windows that open all the way so I can get a hell of a breeze. But if you're at a resort, you're just going to have the AC on. You're going to have the heater on. You're not saying, hey, I'm going to need some fresh air. You want fresh air, you walk outside. So it has a 40-inch fireplace and a 50-inch television. A very nice television indeed. I have a question. I always, want, I always wonder if they have any 4K 50-inch TVs in some of the unit. Because at home, I have only 4K TVs. And uh, I really like 4K. I got spoiled by it. You can always upgrade and buy one and stick one in there for, by yourself. This has the latest uh, furry on head unit, by the way. Very, very nice. 
Again, furry on TV, furry on soundbar, furry on stove, furry on stovetop, furry on everything, pretty much. And this unit, this head unit is uh, it's relatively new. I really like it. What is it called? It's called a furry on DV 1220 series head unit. I love it. More storage up there and cable connections. This has a connection for USB and HDMI. A lot of the $20,000-$25,000 units I've been looking on that don't have those HDMI connections. They're still back in the 90s. There's a view of the TV. Beautiful, beautiful countertops. Beautiful. And they're stain resistant too, which is very nice. that faucet it's beautifully designed and I'm gonna open up uh, to show you where the sink is with one hand and if I can do it with my little skinny puny uh, arty arty farty hands you can do it in your with your muscular macho man and macho woman hands and arms uh, it's pretty simple for me I'm just 5 10 175 pounds of nothingness and there I am that's adoring uh, admiring this beautiful aesthetic piece of art called a faucet has a pull-out spigot here, so you can, when you're done uh, making that uh, gourmet meal, you can wash your dishes or have somebody else wash them for you because they came over, ate the food for free. They should be washing the dishes, not you. Okay? I love uh, all the areas where they have plugs, connections. You know, they have cabinets. And again, this is the new Furion uh, Chef collection oven and range absolutely beautiful cast iron grill here I love it I love it I can uh, you know cook uh, you know up a storm there make some my uh, uh, you know bacon and eggs for breakfast no problem no problem at all and right there I can bake a chicken you know grill you know have a steak in there put a nice uh, t-bone porterhouse very nice. I can put it in there. A pie, a cake. My wife likes to cook pies and cakes. I don't know how to do that, but I know how to cook a steak. That's for sure. That's how a man survives. You know, grilling a steak. If you're not, you can't grill a steak, you're not a real man. I'm just joking, by the way. Uh, it goes only to 350 according to that. I'd like to go up to 450 myself. Maybe it goes up to 450 Maybe I have... I'm mistaken. That's when you contact your dealership and say, does this thing go up to 450 or only 350 You ask them, and they'll tell you, uh, Jesus Garza didn't know what he was talking about. Uh, it goes up to 450 In fact, it goes up to a zillion. Solid cabinet, solid drawers. I love them in this beautiful glaze. In different light, this glaze has a looks lighter and then it looks darker. I get confused what glaze it is. I have to uh, double check. They have, well, I think they have four different glazes for the cabinets or finishes, as I call them. Again, plenty of storage. You cannot complain about the storage. Don't forget you can pause this video at any time to look at the specs, to look at some of the details you really like, and uh, you know, check it out ad nauseum at your own leisure. So I, this is a very nice little microwave, and it's a furry end product. Convection microwave. You could pretty much make anything you want in the universe now, you just have to say Put your little, slap your little label on it and you make it in China. So, you know, who knows where these things are made. They just put some salesman from uh, China comes over and say, Hey, would you like to have a furry and microwave? And you say, yeah, why not? We've always wanted to sell microwaves. And then you just slap your little label on there and some uh, company in China whips them out and slaps your label on there. And that's that. Here's a close up of the hinges. And some beautiful, 
beautiful woodwork on this unit. And another shot of that beautiful Furion stovetop. I really like it. Plenty of controls, electronic controls, digital controls all over this unit. I couldn't show them all. And uh, that uh, 110 outlet is outside because if you dug into that wall there, it would probably go into the other cabinet. It wouldn't look so nice. So I love this basket weave and brick uh, look in the backsplash. Very nice. Goes very nicely with the countertops. Whoever did the uh, design of this unit really knew their stuff. There, it's a, it's beautifully done. My wife and I have been shopping for refrigerators lately. She's been looking at, you know, three thousand dollar refrigerators, and I can tell you right now, this is about a thousand dollar refrigerator. It is still very nice and uh, very functional. Plenty of uh, storage area for your vegetables, uh, for your various meat products, uh, whatever you want to put in there. My wife's a vegetarian and I'm definitely a meat eater. I love my steaks, and my hamburgers, my chicken. Uh, so we coexist rather well, it seems, so far. And here's a wine cooler. Very nice. You can store your wines in there. I'm not much of a wine drinker, but my wife is, so she would definitely, definitely appreciate that. Here I am opening up the various drawers because uh, I got to, I have to open them up and uh, share them with you so you can look at them. And the plug. All right, there's a fuse box, so you can check your fuses at any time. It's hidden behind a wooden door, so it wouldn't... Uh, Destroy the aesthetics of this uh, fine, fine Van Lay Beacon 39 GBB. The GB stands for Grand Bar, by the way. I think this is the bar area. Here I am going to open up the more cabinets uh, because, uh, again, it's important to know what the cabinets are like, what kind of storage you have in an RV. You're paying for uh, essentially cabinetry and, uh, you know, a good kitchen and a good bathroom and a good bedroom. But cabinets play a uh, you know, important role here so you can store all your stuff. This, is, uh, this unit is definitely great for tall people, especially in the kitchen and living room. I'm entering the bedroom, and uh, I love this uh, bedroom. It's uh, straightforward, and it's isolated from the rest of the place here, so you can keep it nice and quiet. And those double insulated, tinted windows make a big difference. And if you don't like, uh, if you're getting still too much noise through those windows, you can always put some uh, uh, other materials over that just to make sure that uh, the sound is deadened. But this is an unusual headrest, huh? Very unusual. USB plugs on both sides, and you have a little tabletop area. And this is the view from the bed to the uh, dresser. They have a 32 inch TV. Again, I'm shooting this in natural light. I do not have the, the lights of the RV on. If the RV had the lights on, it would look a lot better, but it's a little bit dim. I'm sorry about that. The bathroom is super well lit. It has a lot of natural light coming through the uh, shower. Essentially, the light goes through the uh, little, uh, you know, area through the roof there of the, sh of the shower, and then reflects off the white <laughs> of the uh, shower surround and and blasts, blast, totally blasts the the bathroom with a lot of light. So you have two uh, wash basins. Very nice. And if you're a couple, like my wife and I, this is a way we coexist. One has the, I have the left one, she'll have the right one. Stainless steel shower fixtures and a beautiful, solid, very well built shower surround. To 
the right of the shower is a dedicated uh, linen and uh, towel storage. You can also pull whatever you want in there. You can put Tupperware containers or stuff. In a couple uh, days, my wife and I are going for two weeks of camping in northern New Mexico and southern Colorado. By the way, I wish I had this unit. You know what we're going to be doing? We're going to be sleeping in the back of my pickup. And uh, that's how we rough it in the Garza Limer family. It is going to be cold back there. This would be nice. I wish I had this. I wish I had the cash to blow on this, but I do not at this time. So it has all kinds of storage. Plenty of storage for shirts, for jackets, for umbrellas, for Tupperware containers of stuff. Beautiful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. I would greatly appreciate it. I really enjoyed uh, producing this video and I, I would like to thank the f kind folks at Explore USA RV Super Center for letting me uh, check out this Van Lee Beacon 39 GBB. Don't forget again to like, subscribe and share. Gracias. Adios. Bye bye.